Today in the bootcamp, we are looking at the Grindstone by Duluth Trading Company and Compo. So I was trying to figure out the best way to cover this boot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the high points of it, and then I'm gonna talk about the parts that I'm really not crazy about. So let's first cover the sole. The sole, direct attach, EVA type sole, extremely flexible, extremely grippy, extremely well designed. Now on the toe and in the heel section, they added this material that they're calling Tough Tech. And this makes a lot of sense. We see this type of material on a lot of inexpensive boots like this. And because of the way that the boot is glued together and just attached, that you need to have a little something extra on the other side of that comp toe. If you would have had just the raw leather without the Tech Tough Toe material added to the front and added to the back of the heel where you kick your boots off, more than likely the boots would have failed on you prematurely. Now moving up into the eyelids and the laces and all these other parts, well, they're using D-rings for your main places where your eyelids would be. And the D-rings are double backed. So not only are they through the leather on the front, but they're actually backed with washers. So one less point that the boot is going to fail on you. And it's actually pretty nice. The D-rings they're using are nice, heavy-duty D-rings. They're speed laces. They're single-piece metal and they're bent over. But it's a nice, thick piece of metal. It's going to take a lot to bend one of these. It's going to take a lot to pull one of these through, especially with the way that they're constructed with this big washer in the back. Laces are beautiful nylon laces, so you can get these things real tight and they stay tight. At the same time, what you can do is you can loosen this boot up really quick to get it off. Because of the D-rings and because of the nice smooth laces, it comes on and off really easy. Now looking inside, I'm really not that impressed with the construction, but then again, when I think about the price range of what this boot is, it's up to par. It's actually better than most boots in its price range in the interior construction. The exterior construction is phenomenal for a boot in this price range, but there's a lot of boots that are coming out that fall in the same caliber as this that are built along the same lines. So let's get back to the inside. Inside, pour on insole. It's a beautiful insole. Your arch and your heel cup are encased in a harder, more supportive material. The front of your foot, your impact section and the ball of your foot and your heel are all encased in smaller sections, adding to the comfort of the boot. The majority of the comfort is not coming from this insole, though it's very nice, it's very well designed. The comfort is coming from the mid layer, the mid section of the boot. This really soft EVA is some great stuff when it's connected to the sole. It's gonna add a lot of comfort. You're gonna get a lot of shock absorption. You're gonna be able to jump on and off ladders in and out of the truck for an extended period of time and not feel like the boot is gonna fail on you. Now the boot is waterproof and it's waterproof with a material they're calling Duluth Dries. It's a treated leather waterproof construction, and it looks like there might actually be some sort of membrane they added to sections of it. If not, they're just using a very good PVC back nylon. Now you are going to want to mink oil this boot up because it's waterproof leather, and like I said, it's a softer leather. So it's not going to take as much abrasion, as much dust and whatnot. Stuff's going to get ground into this leather much easier than something that was a thicker, heavier duty leather. And since it is an okay boot, it's, you know, for a work boot, it's a pretty nice boot. When you think about you're going to be replacing this thing in nine months, it makes a lot of sense just to take care of it a little bit. Now I find the boot to be a little overpriced. It's coming in at 140 and you can pick up a lot of other boots in that price range that are going to have the same characteristics, the same qualities from a familiar brand name. But something that you're not going to get that Duluth is offering is that lifetime guarantee. No questions asked. Wear this thing, bring it back to them. Destroy it, bring it back to them. That's kind of how all that literature reads about the boot. They're looking for you to bring these things back so they can do some better R&D so they can actually understand what they need to improve. That's the way the literature looks. When you tell people that there's no questions asked, it's a no bull guarantee. 
don't be surprised when these come back, you know, in two pieces. Now, I'm not saying you guys should be doing that, but at the same time, if somebody's going to offer something like that, maybe, you know, you should be taking advantage of it, especially if work boots are something that you burn through quickly. And if you're looking for a comfortable work boot that's going to be comfortable from the day you put it on to the day you take it off because of materials, because of construction, well, the grindstone could be just that boot for you. Now about size and fit, well, I thought they fit great. I thought the size was awesome. I thought out of the box, as light as this boot is, was really comfortable. It's flexible. It's not my favorite looking boot. It's actually not a good looking boot at all. The details in it are kind of ugly, but it's a work boot. It's a comfortable, flexible work boot. Now I said the boots were light and they are. They are coming in at 3.6 pounds. So that's the grindstone by the Loose Trader in a beautiful comp toe, easy clean out sole, waterproof leather. Hey, if you've ever worn a pair of these grindstones from the Loose Trader or just any of their boots, please comment below. Let guys know what you thought about the comfort, the longevity, whether or not their no bull guarantee is really no bull. Did you return the boots for some sort of reason? Was it a size issue? Was it a quality issue? Was it just a construction issue? Whatever it was, please comment below. Hey, if you want to see some detailed photos of this boot and if you just want to get a better idea on how some of the hardware looks, how the inside looks, and the insole looks, remember you can always swing by the bootguy.com. There I'll have all that put together in a blog posting all about the grindstone. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All day long, I'm posting photos of interesting boots that I come in contact with. And I'm also just talking with other people about work boots and casual boots. Hey, if you're about to pick a pair of these up and you just got some questions and you're just not finding the right answers to them, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.